Hello, everyone. Welcome. Um, we've got something kind of fun to talk about today. So uh, the concept that I want to share with you today, the kind of the tip, if you will, really does have some strength to it. But what's so crazy to me, like mind blown, um, is that this is not well known. It's not well used and single handedly. When I see really good people trying to do the right things in their business and getting frustrated because it's not working, usually this is the reason why. So that's what I'm going to chat with you today. We're going to talk about how you can grow, then scale your business in a way that feels good, right? And actually does accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. So howdy, my name is Leslie Hassler. I own Your Biz Rules, and I work with women-led service businesses to grow and scale their businesses profitably and sustainably so that they can build a brighter future. Now, whether that's bringing home personal income, being able to um, add value in your family, create legacy and impact, all of those things. So today, what I want to kind of give you, and let's start off with this image, like as a woman, and I'm going to assume that you're a woman or you know a woman, um, that you have bought this gorgeous shoe, like this gorgeous shoe, and it looks, it looks really good on. But the minute you slip your foot into it, you know it's about a five minute shoe. Now my world, or as I have a friend that says, they're show up shoes, not wear up shoes. <laughs> they look really great. You show up and then you quickly change into something else. It's that, that level of discomfort that comes from trying on the shoe that makes the shoe, no matter how gorgeous, no matter how stunning, no matter how beautiful it looks on your foot, not work, right? I don't know if you're like me. I have to really judge how long I can wear a shoe about whether or not I buy it. Because I know on the short end, I need a couple of hours <laughs> if I'm gonna wear a heel. So this happens in business all the time. It's so crazy. And let me let me give you an example of how it showed up in one of my clients' businesses. So client had um, had a good high five figure, low six figure business. Um, went to a mentor who had that one of those secret formulas, you know, those magical formulas do business like me and it'll fix everything. So this was a person that went in and did everything they were told to do. The result was that her business shrank. In fact, it significantly shrank, like embarrassingly so. When we started working together and I started asking questions about that product that she tried to bring into her business, what I got a sense of is that that product, no matter how successful it was for the person that was selling it, it wasn't in alignment. It was so far out of alignment with who my client was, what her business was, like the why behind her business and the clients that she served that it basically broke the system. And this is a really important concept because when we try to apply things to our business and we don't think about the alignment, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second, it just really hinders us. It will stall a business's growth. It will take something that used to be easy and make it hard. Um, it'll cost you money. It'll cost you the success. It definitely um, becomes a burden you know, I, I always talk about, are you crispy in your business? Like you are burned out, burned through, you are crispy, right? Because of all of the stress that really is weighing down on you in your business. Um, we, wanna, we wanna avoid that. Or if you're experiencing that now, know that you can change. Yes, you're gonna have to do something different because it's the only way that change occurs when you're brave enough, when you have the courage enough to do something different enough so that you can get a different result, right? That's what we're after. So what I wanna kind of drive home, like the, the success principle here, if you'll think about it, is when you bring yourself into alignment 
um, lots of things that once were hard are just just work. It's like one of those special effect movies where all the pieces come together and they start clicking and and it makes something beautiful. That's what we want to have in your business. But if you aren't surrounding yourself with a community, with other mentors and advisors, with people that can help you see when things are out of alignment and help guide you in a way that feels really good to bringing alignment in your business, then you're just you're constantly going to be struggling, struggling here. So let me give you like the three things you need to look for as you're looking for a community, as you're looking for a mentor, an advisor in how this works. So alignment i've used that phrase a few times and what does that mean well essentially think about it like matchmaking you know matchmaking is there's some science behind it but there's a lot of art behind it and it's a lot of details so you're trying to make sure that these two pieces of a puzzle can come to together to create one solution so if you're too close to the picture, like if you're in the picture, you have a really hard time seeing the frame. So oftentimes we're just too close. We're too familiar with the business. So when things are out of alignment, it's not obvious. And that's really why at times you need that community that can give you another set of eyes that can go, well, why are you doing that? And can go, but you hate that so why are you doing it and it can really get you to zone in or zoom in if you will on what the misalignment is because once we identify that if we can figure out why something doesn't work or isn't working for you then oftentimes that gives us the guidance to figure out what will work what will feel good All right our second tip is i have this titled ease so I find that sometimes we get so locked into trying to do what's right that we forget to do what feels good. Now, I'm not saying um, overindulge in something. That's not what I'm talking about here. But what I found in business is that what is easy gets done. What is hard gets delayed. As an entrepreneur, your job isn't to be busy. Being busy is an older mm, construct that's being blown out of the water. Um, it's been blown out of the water in the small business world, but right now we're seeing it being blown out of the water in corporate. I can't even say it's a corporate thing anymore. But being busy is a habit. It's something that we get locked into. It's a distraction device, number one. Um, but what I want you to understand it is that being busy isn't a good business. It isn't. It will get you stuck <laughs> really fast and you will feel like a hamster on a wheel. But if we can kind of get this concept of ease, I want to I want to share. I'll share an example here. So if you worked on your strengths, all right, so you've heard you've got strengths and you've got weaknesses. And some people prefer to work on strengths and some people prefer to work on weaknesses, right? And maybe it's situational, which one you're gonna work on. In this case, I am gonna say, you get more bang for your buck working on your strengths than you do working on your weakness. And it's the 80-20 rule, this Pareto's principle, is that the 20% effort that you put into improving your strength will give you an 80% result, right? That's a no brainer. But what I find with weaknesses is that you have to put in 80% effort just to get 20% result. So I'm gonna ask you, as somebody with limited time on their hands, multiple demands on that time, which would you rather do? I hope you said strengths, like right? working on the strengths. Well, that is this concept that we're looking at too, is how do we bring that ease into what we're doing in business and how we're growing the business, right? Because you don't need to do it everything. You probably, maybe, I'm gonna go out on a limb, don't even need to do the trendy things right now because good business is good business, okay? but. I want you to get into this aspect of looking 
for that ease, finding those strengths, aligning, right? So that your 20% effort gives an 80% result. And it's totally doable, totally possible. The last one, the third, I'm like, how many are we counting? Um, the last one, the third, I kind of titled resist the 180. Let me explain. So typically, well, I'm going to just share personally, personally, for a very long time, the last thing I wanted was a seven figure business. Because all the examples that I saw showed the woman, the woman business owner being overwhelmed, drowning, sacrificing her family, like all of these things that weren't part of my dream. It, and they went against my values in a lot of ways. Family is a really high value. Now, I think this is really interesting because even um, heard from Kendra Scott last a couple of weeks ago at a conference, and she just talked about everything she sacrificed in her journey. And it was a trade-off she was willing to make, but it is not a trade-off that I'm willing to make. So knowing that about myself, knowing what my own values, my initial reaction for a very long time was to do a 180. Well, if that is what it takes, I don't want it and walk away from it. Here's why a community comes to be helpful in this area. You need sometimes somebody to call you out on it. You need sometimes somebody that loves you that is fully supportive of you, that totally understands what it's like to be an entrepreneur, who says, but wait a minute, is that the truth? Or is that just what you're settling for, right? It's that, that a little bit of challenge in there, right? To dig a little deeper, that little bit of accountability in there to reach your fullest potential. And so that is an important aspect that often is missing for entrepreneurs is somebody that's willing to ask the really tough questions in a loving way, but really willing to call you out on some things when the behavior that you're doing is in direct opposition of the goals that you've set, right? That being out of alignment. It almost always comes back to alignment. Like I can just bring it back time and time and time again. When you do have a community that can help you with this and full of mentors and advisors, because guys, I believe you need more than one. I'm just going to tell you, and I was talking to somebody that I was like, I found for me, I need three. I need three different sources, right, to come in because usually they all come at it from a different angle. And when I get all that different point of view, that's when I can take action. So surround yourself, you know, if if you're looking for that community, I will say, hey, we've got one um, full of some really smart, strong women entrepreneurs who are facing the same challenges, the same demands on time, the same roadblocks on their journey to entrepreneurship, but who are all motivated by that building a brighter future, building something bigger than themselves. Um, creating a better world through their work. I really want to drive home that you need this kind of community who can help bring you back into alignment, who can help you identify what's easy and what works, and who can help challenge you so that you're bringing your best self to the table. And when you have that, here's the payoff. Here's everything you gain. You move quicker, right? If you're impatient, you move faster. Um, the, 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 the needle starts moving, right? You're moving faster. You're taking action because we're taking out all the roadblocks, right? We're, we're removing all the friction to your action. So you move faster, but that means you get quicker results and bigger, better results, because it's not so much that everything's going to be like, woohoo, party time right out of the gate, right? But it's so often we it's a slow build right that that's what generates the exponential growth so when you get to action quicker and you're moving a little faster you see that build so much quicker you actually can see the moving of the needle you also become so much more confident 
partly because you don't have time to doubt yourself, partly because you're able to share those doubts and concerns with your community and they're going to feed back on you. They're going to say, totally get it, been there, done that. And then I found out it wasn't true or you're right, but here's what to do about it. Here's how you can, you can reduce the risk around that, right? That, that idea, idea generation that you can't get, you can't do for yourself. You're also, and here's the kicker, like part of our promise is profitability and sustainability, because at the end of the day, you need to take home a salary just as much as everybody else does, right? You need some reward for business, but the sustainability is like, can it last? Will you last? Will your energy maintain? Because half the sputters in a business are caused by unsustainable actions. So when you're doing all of this, you find that you're re-energized, like your mojo comes back. You fall back in love with your business. You believe in your business more so than you ever thought you could. And that, if we've helped you do that, we've done a really good thing because when it feels good, you do better. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you're having a great day. If you're interested in our community, like I said, just reach out, DM me. We'll get you the details on that. Um, but it is a pretty amazing community. And I, um, I only, I hope and I think, I'm pretty sure it could be just right for you. So we'll talk soon. Until next time, I'm Leslie Hassler with Your Biz Rules Business Coaching.